is just a prayer that I've offered this morning concerning us as a nation concerning us as followers of Apostle Damaris that we need your revival and we cannot do without you and we need you in our lives and I want to thank you for every listener that is listening to me I want to thank you for the online church I want to thank you for the followers, for the intercessors and the warriors that you have been using because of what you are doing in this nation. I want to thank you because in this nation there is calmness in the spirit realm. And I want to thank you because just as it is calm in the spirit realm, grace will manifest and honor will be manifested. I thank you because you are God in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. What a wonderful uh, day, what a wonderful morning, and what a wonderful hour or minutes uh, to be together with you and to record and also to pray together with you. Every time we are praying, we are recording in the spirit realm that what we have agreed, it will be done even in heaven. The Bible says that where two or three are gathered in Matthew chapter 18 and verses 18. This is what the Bible says, Verily I say to you, whatsoever 
you shall bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven every time we pray as a nation every time you pray as an individual every time the church prays the bible says that our prayers we are recording them amen and the bible says that it is bound in heaven and whatsoever you shall lose on earth you shall it shall be loosed in heaven look at verses 19 the bible says again i say to you and that is what i'm speaking to you as my people that if two of you it doesn't meet need many warriors it doesn't meet, need any many many intercessors but the bible is saying that that if two of you shall agree the secret is agreement so when i'm leading you in prayer it is very important for you just to agree with me even if it's just amen you are agreeing with the apostle damaris the bible says on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them of my father which is in heaven for where two or three are gathered together in my name there i am in the midst of them verses 20 these three scriptures are very essential in the life of a christian and in the life of people who believe in a green the bible says that let our amen be amen amen now do you have my number are you saying woman of god i've been listening to you since 2020 uh, march uh, march 20th i've been listening to you I've been praying together with you and I want now I've tasted the waters I want to be a blessing to you I want to support your ministry I want you to reach to many that which you are speaking to me to reach to many kindly I want you to partner with me with your 1000 or 500 shillings and this is my partnership number and my pay bill number it is 400222 my account number it is 1739983 hash and then put your name down or just send the transaction to this number 0746553997 this is my number and people have been calling me and i want to thank you that i've been sending you a offering your tithes and you have been sending your partnership card uh, your partnership support i can have everything i can preach to you but without money i cannot reach i cannot cater for the editing and other things amen and because of you i'm able to do it i'm still growing in the media and i bless god because you are making it happen glory be to god now Today I want us to look at the same thing we are looking the bloodline. This topic is quite large. I may not give everything. I may not give everything because it is quite large. Uh but uh I want us to look at something one today before we are crossing to 2024. 2024 is a calm year, very calm in the spirit realm, calm. Those that have been following me those that have been faithful those that have been partnering with me giving tithes those that have been connected to me they see me as their pastor they see me as their their mentor their prophet you that have been following me now there are good news for you that our year 2024 is the year of peace and joy and joy glory be to god it is the year of peace and joy so there are people that are going to enjoy 2024 and don't forget when god is lifting and god is blessing some of us go down and uh they they, they some of us those that have been hindering you to laugh those that have been hindering you to receive peace now you find that god is just releasing the angel with the wings of grace and mercy a very scary angel that scrub you know this angel is not a joke i mean when he is cleaning the atmosphere for you and i don't know why i'm saying all this now we are going to look at two things today we are still looking at the bloodline but i want also to look at one thing and this is the covenant of peace covenant of peace and this one I'm doing it because I was dealing with a case the previous week and the Lord spoke to me about the covenant seed and uh I thought it wise I said this case 
can also help my partners can help those that are close to me to enter into a covenant of peace for 2022 amen and uh, that is what we are going to do but before that i want us to pray for the nation of kenya and we are going to go to isaiah chapter 62 we are going to pray for the nation of kenya isaiah chapter 62 and verses 1 this one i've given you many times but we are going to tell the lord for kenya's sake father for the peace of this nation for the peace of course i'll tell you what will happen in 2024 i i am yet bringing it things together what god has spoken to me but for now 2024 is our year of peace and joy in other words perfection amen now the bible says for zion's sake will i not hold peace for kenya's sake i will not hold peace for you that is partnering for you that is with apostle damaris my followers for you that have been following me up the bible says i will not hold my my peace for jerusalem's sake i will not rest imagine god not holding his peace imagine god not having rest and he is god for you there must be something that will make you to have peace <laughs> for him not to have peace and that is the covenant seed amen the bible says until the righteousness therefore go forth as brightness and the salvation therefore as the light that burneth in other words god will have no peace God will have no rest for the nation of Kenya to the the light to be to be witnessed amen that God is going to make sure that he has brought vengeance he has silenced some of the enemies in this nation amen in 2024 there are politicians we honor that are going to go down they are men of God we honor that their time has come for them to go rest amen and i want us to tell the lord father for you are sick let there be peace in the nation of Kenya this month of december this month of december and the two weeks that are remaining one week we have one week to get to december we are going to tell the lord this year we are going to close well let there be no peace in your kingdom until your kingdom is established in our lives for the nation of Kenya in jesus name my father zatere po sharabada for zion sake will i not hold my peace for the jerusalem sake i kayata labedia and for jerusalem sake i will not rest until righteousness therefore go forth as brightness and salvation therefore as lamp that burneth manda la besa kadua my father release the angel with the wings of grace and mercy the voca topra satia the creatures that you have that are going to clear and pave way for 2024 for my people for the online church for the followers for the partners manda la besa katu prozia those that have been faithful with their tithes and offerings those that are divinely connected to me in this nation i am asking you jehovah god maga do prazanta besha kadia hold not your peace jehovah god do not rest until justice has come for the labor shola mante besi akai padua i commit the month of december into your hands oh god i commit the month of december and the remaining week of november into your hands in the name of jesus i dedicate this year into your hands as we come to an end marabo shatabada in jesus name the month of december we shall be praying for the month, for the year 2024 as usual and i want to thank god for giving us life and keeping us amen now we are going to look at uh, i don't know i'm going to do it but we are going to look at the covenant the seed of covenant is very important because it has also dealt good it has dealt with my foundation this is a covenant that the lord gave to me a covenant that nobody can break no witch no doctrine whatever because it is purposely given by god to us because of the assignment and when god has made a covenant of peace with your pastor with your prophet and mentor then you covenant with that person you find that the covenant is working i want you to know this 
We have angels of protection. We have angels of prosperity. We have angels of this covenant. We did it on Sunday. Every year we do it, chariots of fire ministry. Every year we renew our covenant with our prophet, the covenant of peace. And on Sunday there is a lady who gave us a testimony immediately. If I there to immediately, we did a covenant of peace. One of my daughters got an accident together with the husband, the mother-in-law, and two children, five people. The car was crashed. I think I'll send it to my editor. He'll put it there. The car was written off. And I'm telling you, they came out alive. They came out alive. The covenant of peace. Yes. On Sunday, somebody said that there is a covenant of seed that they were to give to me. And this one is, uh, you know, and all the women were sucked out of job. All people, she was only left alone as a woman. That is the power of covenanting with your prophet. Amen. Now, we are going to look at it before we pray for ourselves. You are saying, woman, you are asking for money. It's up to you how you take it. I don't mind how you take it. But I'm trying to show you things that we need to know. They are angels and they, are, and they only come to fight their covenant angels. They come, they appear. The time of covenant seed to fight for you, to clean and to make way for you. Amen. People ask me, how do you survive a lot of things? <clears throat> covenant of seed. This one is quite big. I'll not take it to you there because it's large. I'll start with, 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 uh, with, uh, with uh, numbers. Let me go to numbers 25. Please, when I give you a scripture, because our time is limit, limited, you go read all of it. This is about Phinehas. God was annoyed because of the children of Israel, the children of the covenant. Now, God covenanted with the Israelites, just like you are covenanting with me today. And the Bible says that God was annoyed and furious that Phinehas, that the Israelites are sleeping out with women, the Moabites, they got even married. There was intermarriages, you know, between them. And God appeared to Moses and he said, I'm very annoyed with the children of Israel. Kindly, I am going to destroy. I'm going to forget the covenant. I'm going to kill. And Moses took a people, the, his people, to the gate of the tent of the tabernacle to ask for forgiveness. Now, you go read all of it. We have no time. The covenant seed you make and this one is me and you the covenant of seed you make it is given by god it is not you and because it is freely given to me by god then when you covenant you find yourself you have received it i know you fight me and through this your foundation is dealt with amen the bible says look at verses 11 verse 10 and verses 11. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, has turned my wrath away from the children of Israel, who were he was zealous for my sake among them that I consumed not the children of Israel in my jealous. The covenant seed, what does that mean? This man fought the battles of God. You gossip a lot about your pastor. You gossip about, about, a lot about men of God. You talk, you talk, you do a lot of things. You are fighting men of God. How do you find this covenant? You cannot be having it. Now, but when you find people talk about men of God, you silence them, you are a candidate to receive this gift. You are a giver. You see, you, you discover that in your church, the pastor have no seat or the seats are few or there is something that needs to be done in that church, you do it, then you are fighting for God. You intercede for your pastor for the nation of Kenya, then you are doing it for God. Amen. That is how we serve God. Amen. Me, I have my sons. You cannot slap me when they are there. They will literally beat you physically and, and, and they'll come and tell me we did it. And I will lay hands on them. Yes, you cannot slap me. You talk about me aimlessly when they are there, even my daughters. They will silence you. They are fighting for their prophet. The Bible says in verses 12, Wherefore say, behold, I give to him the covenant of peace. Covenant of peace. And he 
shall have it and his seed after him, even the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was zealous for his God and made an atonement for the children of Israel. You step in when nobody else can step in in the work of God. Amen. Now, this covenant of peace is quite, it doesn't end. I don't know what I'm going to do because there are so many scriptures. Now, covenant of peace, this is where you are marked with the covenant of peace. When you go to Hosea chapter 2, God makes sure that he has made a covenant of peace with the beast of the field. These are snakes. Yes, they will not touch you. You dream snakes are masquerades are coming after you. Snakes in your foundation are coming after you. You know, you, you want to get something. The enemy is coming uh, to destroy what you have. The covenant of peace will resist them. He will fight them. Foundation has said you will not succeed. Whatever is ruling in your foundation, this is a broad topic. Whatever the devil is, wants to do in your, in your covenant is agreement. So it is agreement of peace. So sicknesses, God gives you peace in it. Business, there are people fighting in your area of location, people fighting in your business. They don't want you to prosper. They take you to witches. They take you to sorcerer. They are trying to do anything. The covenant of peace will fight for you. That which are said in your foundation that will not succeed, the covenant of peace speaks for you. Now, when you look in Hosea chapter 2, verses 18, I'm rushing because it's short. And this, this thing is broad. And in that day, will I make a covenant of peace for them with the beast of the field? They are sending snakes to you to bite you, to put poison in you, to die early, to bring untimely death, to miscarry. They are sending moors. When you plant a banana, moors come and they, you know, they come and, you know, the, 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 the banana tree just falls. You cannot even eat the product of that fruit. Ah, you are about to harvest, your harvest is stolen, you need the covenant of peace. Yes, there are battles, you need the covenant of peace. The Bible says you have a problem in marriage, covenant with this pastor. The Bible says that I will make with them a covenant of peace with the beast of the field and with the force of heaven and the creeping things of the ground. I will break the bow and the sword and the battle out of the earth. I will make them to lie down in safety. Peace. They go to witches. They are calling your name, you know. They are calling your name so that they can destroy you. As soon as they do that, the grace that I carry, the angels that are the angels that defend the covenant of peace, they just come through for you. Yes, my friend. So if God is doing it with the animals, he does it also with the people. He did it with, with, with Phinehas to his generations. Yes, because of him. When you go to Ezekiel chapter 34, 34 verses 26, and I will make them and the place round about my hill a blessing, and I will cause, uh, I will cause the shower to come down in its season. There shall be showers of blessing. When you look in verses 25, this is the scripture I'm looking for. And I will make them, I will make with them a covenant of peace. I will make with Apostle Damaris a covenant of peace. I have three minutes. A covenant of peace. And I will cause the evil beast to seize out of her land, out of her field, out of the ministry, out of her foundation. To seize out of the land and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the wood. A peace covenant or agreement of peace is God. You'll be, you'll be sick, but that sickness will not kill you. You'll be pregnant. If the foundation is fighting the male children in the womb, you will have problem, yes, but finally you shall deliver. You have you know, peace in your business, peace in your marriage. You know, they will try to separate you. There will be ups and downs in your marriage. But at the end of it, your marriage will be preserved. That is the peace covenant. And go read up to verse 30 because there is no time. There is restoration. The same way God fights for me, you find that he's fighting also for me. When you look in Isaiah chapter 54, the Bible says this covenant can never, it is never broken. Uh -huh. Verses 10 is never broken. 54 verse 10. The Bible says it can never be broken. And then we are going to pray. The Bible says, for the mountains shall depart and the hills be removed. 
mountains, hills will be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from you, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed, says the Lord. God has made a covenant of me, a peace with me because of the assignment in this nation, because of the assignment outside and the revival issues, and because he has done it. When you covenant with me, you get it freely because it is through me that you are receiving. Amen. Do you have my number? Are you saying, woman of God, I want to partner with you with 1,000. I want to partner with you with 500. I want to covenant with you with the covenantal agreement of peace that my 2024, there will be peace. Amen. My family, there will be peace. This is my pay bill number 400222. My account number 173 hash. And please write, if it is covenant seed, put it down, covenant seed, so that I can know how to pray in Jesus' name. This is my pay bill, my number, my telephone number. You can use it to send your offering, my Mpesa number. You can call me and God is going to bless 746 553 Kindly do it and God will bless you. My Father, I'm thanking you for the covenant of peace. This is the peace covenant agreement. Manta po shakatia. Let your people take this message seriously. Let your people take this mekalopa likata prosetia mante besa. Let them not take it for granted because the covenant of peace brings peace, fights their battles, and the angels in my, my docket, the angels in this commission, are only assigned because of a few things that you do into this ministry. Those that are going to give the covenant peace, I'm asking you that you are going to release the angels of the covenant of peace to cater for their issues and let there be testimonies. Bless my viewers, bless those that are watching me and keep them and preserve them in Jesus' name. This, this was the hardest thing I've given out. Amen. Always remember that where there is a prophet, there is a testimony. And by the hand of Apostle Damaris, signs and wonders and miracles are your portion today. God bless you. Don't take what I've told you for granted. Amen. And God is going to give you peace. Amen. <laughs>